Okay, so basic cleaning of the blade is finished. Isn't that pretty? And now I want to get started on this handle. Um, I'm going to be using pretty much my hand and as you can see over here, get the camera a little closer, a little wood ash crunched up. Now wood ash is as simple as the name might suggest. A lot of people buy it online and figure it's more complicated, but no, it's ash from wood. It means you've burnt wood and you've collected the ash. So preferably you want a hardwood, something like oak. Let me just go ahead and I'm just going to wet this a little bit and dip my fingers in the ash. Now, you can see how black that got and how black this got. I'm going to rinse it really quickly, then mat it off really quickly. Because even though there is a waxy resin like seal in there uh, I guess to keep water out there is a little wiggle room at this end and I, I don't really want to give it too much of a chance to let water into there but it does need to be rinsed so this is going to be a real quick shot of water And a real quick matting off. Get all of that before really any of it has a chance there you go. That's a lot cleaner, a lot more clean than this side, see? Ash and water is a little less aggressive than a uh, clean oil and baking soda. And you generally use it on brass or bronze or silver that you might want to get clean. But I'm using it here because it's less aggressive and I like this color. I like this color contrasting this color. I want to get rid of most of the filth, but leave a little bit of modeling on there. And I don't want this to completely match this. I want that contrast. And that's why I'm going with a slightly less aggressive, uh, not, not to call baking soda all that aggressive. It really isn't baking soda and oil. But ash is less so. Ash is a real mild way of doing this. Now, if you use ash on silver or brass, you'll get that sparkling clean most of the time. It's a uh, it's, it's a significant difference from using it on steel. Yeah, I can get this disc too. As you can see, if you can see the side of the disc I haven't touched. And that on the end there. And then the underside of the disc. So I'll pull off a little piece of toilet paper here since I'm out of napkins. Couple squares, four square, five, oh, four. <clears throat> and I'll get some more of this olive oil and I'll lightly rub it in. I will be cleansing the blade. I don't think I'll be cleansing the handle, I'm pretty sure that I can just kind of, uh, over time, just sort of palm it to a good even patina. With the blade, though, I 
I will be cleansing it. And I'm going to show that how to do that in a moment.